Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's show, we're going to attempt to set up Street Merchant here on Mac OS. Now, I am running on my old Intel based x86 Mac, which I will show you here. <clears throat> Running High Sierra. This is my mid 2012 MacBook Pro. So, real quick, the prerequisites are that you have Git installed and either uh, Node.js 14 or Docker. I already have Git installed, I believe. Uh, So here I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the root user by typing in sudo, which stands for super user do, and space su for switch user, space, tack, and then return, then I type in my password. Alright, so... We are in var root, we'll just do cd space slash. You can see all of the folders and everything here. Now I'm going to check and see if I have git installed. Type in agree. <laughs> Alright, so git is installed. So now I'm going to go ahead and just paste in that git clone command. Hit enter. And now let's see if uh, Street Merchant. There we go, Street Merchant. So I'll cd into that folder. And if we do the print working directory or PWD, it shows Street Merchant, that's where we are. We'll list it, and you can see everything is in here. Now let's go to the downloads and install Node.js. So there it is installed. Just put that in the trash is fine. All right, so let's go ahead and we can see we have the .env example. So where is that? There we go. So if we go ahead and just copy this, so we just highlight it. Command C for copy, and then we'll do C P for copy, paste it in, and then they want it to just be D O T E N V. So I'll just paste it in again and backspace up to here. Boom. So now that file is copied. Now we do the npm install, which is the uh, package manager here to install everything from here. So we'll do npm install. So now it's going out and downloading everything that it needs to be able to run. Just go ahead and make this full screen. So now it's downloading Chromium and all the other prerequisites. I'll probably just fast forward through all this here. 
All right, so now we'll just do a npm start run. And this should go ahead and finish uh, building the application and starting to run Street Merchant. go there it is running now if you wanted to go ahead and stop running this you just hold down the control key and press the letter C and then that will go ahead and break you right out of that so now I want to go ahead and show you guys the configuration example that we copied over to the uh, config file here. So I'm going to go ahead and just Command C since I have it highlighted to copy it, and then come in to and just run Vim, or yeah, I guess you could do Nano and then just paste it in. Either which way. All right. So in Vim, you have to press the letter I to be able to insert uh, Nano. You don't have to do any of this. This is a more advanced uh, editor for a text editor. And then here are all of the different variables that you can go ahead and set for any of the items. Uh, it's extremely customizable. You really got to dig into the documentation if you want to you know, heavily customize it. I mean, you can tie it into your Philips Hue system and use the API key to be able to change a light color. I mean, that is just freaking insane. So. Anyways, uh, as you can see, you can you can pretty much customize the snot out of this thing. You can have it do a screenshot. Uh, it's all in the documentation. Uh, anyways, to exit here, I have to hit escape and the colon and then Q for quit. Or if I wanted to write the file, then it would be you know, escape colon W for write and then Q for quit. And then it would change that file. Uh, you could also do nano uh, dot env and the same thing here you can uh, but you don't have to use the escape or colon keys or any of that this is more of just like a really basic uh, text editor and then just control X we'll go ahead and exit or uh, if you wanted to save the file then it would be control O and then it prompts here at the bottom for the file name which is the same exact file name and then we just hit enter Okay, and then uh, Control X. Now, if we come under here under customization, here is the reference guide here that will explain pretty much all of the different options that you have in the configuration. And the filters, notification, you can even use proxies if you want to. There's just tons of stuff that you can set in here. And then if you want to take a look at the supported stores, you can come into here. Uh, if you wanted to just show only a certain series or a certain model, you can go ahead and uh, define the brands and all that here. Here are the supported stores and the different countries. And again, you just put them right into the config file, save the config file, and then start up Street Merchant again. So that goes ahead and concludes this quick tutorial on how to uh, install and run Street Merchant off of GitHub. Now if you like this video go ahead and smash that like button like you mean it and if you didn't like this video come on you made it this far you might as well just go ahead and smash that like button as well. Alright and uh, if you are subscribed and have notifications turned on I will catch you in the next one. If not you're really missing out. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm going to type in sudo, which stands for super user do.
SU for switch users. I know, Cleo. We don't like the children either. <laughs> they scare us.